Hi, John Marshall, the Drill Master. I have a requested critique here. This is, hold on just a second here. I will find it. So this is uh, <coughs> from Wilson High School of uh, Florence, South Carolina, Air Force Junior ROTC program. Uh, the team presented the colors, uh, looks like at a baseball game. And so the, uh, the, the, uh, the team waiting to go on uh, is in this brief video. And then the team uh, marching in to present the colors is in the next video. And then there's a video after that, which is the team coming off. So I just wanted to give uh, uh, a quick critique of this. Um, Anyway, so you're uh, sorry if you hear uh, some engines revving in the background. That's uh, uh, outside, and my walls here aren't uh, aren't all that soundproof, unfortunately. Anyway, so you're using ceremonial technique, uh, which you know um, I've gone back and forth about whether to use ceremonial technique by cadets or not. Ceremonial technique is for base honor guards and the Air Force honor guard. Uh, obviously um, and uh, so using it by ROTC cadets and junior ROTC cadets uh, I can see where it would be beneficial actually I prefer ceremonial technique especially when it comes to color guard it's so much better everything makes so much more sense than just regulation drill but um, uh, it's outside of a competition and okay um, anyway let's have a look here so the, the video is just a few seconds long and it keeps repeating uh, um, but uh, I need to get a couple of things taken care of so you didn't check your spades when you first fell in here can you see my cursor no there all right so didn't check your spades when you first fell in the spades need to be flat to the front um, the staffs, uh, the ferrules, are at the toes, and they shouldn't be. So if you're going to use ceremonial technique, then it has to be 100% ceremonial technique throughout the team. Um, everybody needs to have a web belt for when you're using ceremonial technique. Both of the guards need to have their uh, rifle grounded. The toe needs to be right next to your toe when you're at stand at ease. And uh, let's see here. So you have, uh, um, it looks like, if I were to draw a line, it, it looks like, and I, you know, obviously this is not an exact science here uh, while I'm moving my cursor across, uh, but it doesn't look like the, the harness sockets are um, level, and they should be as close as possible. You have the flag material it doesn't look like you have the flag material tucked. It just looks like it's over your uh, shoulder. So, yes, you're using ceremonial technique, but it's not complete. All right, let's go to the next one. So, I really appreciate you marching out at right shoulder. So your your left arms are not you're not marching with suspended arm swing, because you can see your hands, especially with the white glove. The white glove gives away everything. So, uh, and the the video is going to repeat in just a minute, but I'll I'll, I'll keep talking about the uh, the white gloves. So what you need to do is march with suspended arm swing. And I have uh, uh, I'm pretty sure I have a. a a hashtag that's marching with suspended arm swing, something like that. Anyway, uh, the uh, uh, the hand needs to not move. So if, if this is if this is my my leg, then my hand is going to be right here, and it's just you know my leg's going to move back and forth like this, especially when I'm marching in place, marking time, uh, then uh, you know going to come up and down. Uh, and you have all of you have your hands moving back and forth because you have your hand pinned and it's not supposed to be pinned so the flagstaffs need to be at uh, uh, need to be vertical completely vertical that was really nice you give colors halt step 
close. Good. Now, that step close is not supposed to be a step and then a swing out and come in. Uh, it's a, a, a relatively easy technique to do, although at first when you do it, it's just, it's not usual. It, it's, it's colors, halt, actually colors, halt, step, and then slide over. So colors needs to be called on the left foot instead of the right. And I, I can understand how you're swinging that foot out. It, it looks like we do that um, in ceremonial drill, but we don't. <coughs> so rifles both are being carried way too low the the forearm is not horizontal it's a little larger on my screen over here so you've got to, to start marching with a uh, a metronome to get the tempo and you really should set that metronome on your phone just get I use loud metronome it's really nice uh, set it to 110 beats per minute. Don't use an accent. So it's just going tock, 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 and not tick, tock, tick, tock. You can use the tick, tock, and then that the tick means uh, the higher tone is. Uh, uh, if you if you start calling your command on the higher tone, then your left step will be on the higher tone, and that's what I usually do. I, I use the 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 higher tone and lower tone, the accent, but on two four. So it needs to be two on the top and then four on the bottom uh, for the time signature there. Uh, but if you just have four four, no no uh, uh, no accent, then it'll just go click 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 or whatever tone you you set. It'll just be monotone throughout. Uh, but using the the higher tone, lower tone, then uh, will actually help you with staying in step as well. So, um, as the uh, as the team comes out, uh, I want to I want to see uh, present here what you're doing. Oh, so you're you're using it looks like yeah you're using mirror present. And I or maybe not. No, maybe not. It's it's difficult to tell from. Well, yeah, you are. Yeah. So left guard you're at present like this right guard you're at present it looks like so I'll, I'll just have to watch so you definitely need to use a metronome and then uh, march in at, at 110 110's a, 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 f a fine tempo uh, usually colors presentations are around 90 but 110 is a good good tempo to use so let's see what you do here left guard yeah yeah, you do. Go to mirror present. So don't don't do mirror present. Air Force doesn't do that. That's that's Marine Corps uh, at only at Marine Barracks Washington, and that's Navy only at the Ceremonial Guard, uh, and actually uh, uh, Coasties at the, the Ceremonial Honor Guard do that as well, uh, and nobody else does it, and you shouldn't either. Uh, it's not an authorized position here. So, and you're just bringing the, the rifle out and letting it fall over. I mean, there's a whole, so you're, you're, you're attempting to use ceremonial technique, but it, it falls short, very, very short. Although I appreciate you trying out the, uh, the techniques to, to march in. So you have the American flag, South Carolina flag, and then uh, it looks like your school flag, the W. Wilson. So most likely it's the W for your school, and then we could consider that the unit flag. And that's, uh, uh, that's one of the, the little, uh, little almost unknowns really for ROTC and junior ROTC. A school flag can be considered an organizational flag. And uh, it's really not addressed anywhere, but in my in my doing my critiques over the years, I've I've pretty much uh, uh, on my own decided that so I don't see any issue with it, um, and I don't think anybody would ever say anything. Um, but when you go to a competition, uh, you really need to carry the the Air Force J Rotsy flag.
as your uh, as your second flag. Uh, and I know a lot of teams will carry the state flag. And I have an article about that as to why that happens, why the state flag is used, and and when it actually shouldn't be. But you know, I'm not not ready to continuously beat that dead horse. So, and here's the team coming off, and you're coming off at port. That's awesome. That really is. Now your your technique needs a lot of work here. Um, uh, the the port ho holding the rifle at port that's reverse port there a uh, trail guard and you really need to be at the this port right here uh, but don't flare this hand please cadets stop flaring the hands everywhere this it just looks ridiculous but also you don't have a good grip on your rifle <coughs> uh, but I really appreciate you coming out at or or leaving at port that that shows. Uh, that uh, you're understanding why you're doing this and why are you doing it because the flag in the background there the flag that's on the uh, the flagpole that now takes uh, center stage more or less your formal presentation is finished you your flag your team no longer no longer matters it's not the focus uh, really of the uh, uh, of the, the, the ceremony uh, the opening ceremonies for the game and I love it that you did this this is really really nice that's that's awesome so yeah lots of technique issues here and I could go on and on about what these technique issues are but uh, that's not necessary so uh, the um, state bearers harness socket is just way too low it's down all below her crotch, honestly, and it really could come up a lot higher. So I want to see the, uh, yeah, that's just so low. And actually, uh, uh, U.S. Bear, yours is yours is okay, but why hers it has to be so much lower? See, uh, oh, so many people, not just cadets, but so many people assume they they know what they they know, and and uh, and in fact, a lot of times it's wrong. Many people think that the American flag must always be higher, and that's why you'll see uh, some color guards with a longer staff for the American flag and then the other staffs are maybe a foot shorter or something like that. And, and that's not the case at all, ever, on a, a color guard. The flags are always on the same length staff. The flags are always as close as possible to the same dimensions. Whether it's 3 by 4 you're carrying 3 by 5 really should be 3 by 4 flags, um, or the, the 4 foot 4 by 5 foot 6 flags. But there's there's three staff lengths for the Air Force, and there's two sizes of flags for the Air Force as well. And the Air Force is the only service that uses the seven foot uh, length of a uh, of flag staff, and that's only for the three by four flag, and that's only for posting indoors. Those seven foot staffs are never to be used any other time. It's always going to be eight foot staffs as the default with the three by four flag especially for cadet programs but for active duty air force it's uh the default really is the the nine foot six staff with the uh, the larger dimension flag on there four foot four by five foot six so i i do really appreciate this i i think you did a fine job it it uh, there's lots of technique work that needs to be taken care of here um, but still, you're, this is a really good attempt, and, and I appreciate this. So make sure that your chin strap is under your chin and not down here under your throat. So make that uh, chin straps, not throat straps. Anyway, thanks so much for the request, for the, uh, the critique. I appreciate this. I, I honestly do. You're, you've got the, the right heart here, the right intentions, and you need to, you know, if you're going to continue using ceremonial technique, then you're going to have to crack open the the Air Force Honor Guard manual and then learn those techniques. Uh, you can go to my my the rest of my YouTube channel. I've got techniques uh, outlined there. Uh, not really a, a a 
good amount of detail because it's it would just take way too long to to do all that I, I teach that in person but uh, uh, but I, I really do appreciate this uh, this whole presentation here uh, but one thing though if you're going to use ceremonial technique then if you go to competitions you have to use regulation technique which comes out of the Air Force pamphlet the uh, the almost the sticky note uh, that the Air Force decided to throw out there now and downgrade the uh, the Air Force Drill and Ceremonies Manual. So it's really a recommendation. There's nothing that makes you follow it and, and that enforces it. Nothing. Uh, which is just so sad it's unbelievable. Anyway, um, uh, so rather than learn the regulation technique for competition and ceremonial technique for other presentations, I really do suggest you just learn regulation technique and then be done with it and you use that. And then the Air Force GRC has just thrown out the Air Force Drill and Ceremonies Manual and they've gone with the, the Army Training Circular, um, not wanting to uh, acknowledge any kind of history with Air Force Drill and Ceremonies, uh, but you know, that's, uh, that's, uh, uh, that's a soapbox that I keep climbing up on every once in a while, and I probably shouldn't. So anyway, uh, thanks very much, and uh, the Cadet Chief Master Sergeant who uh, sent this to me uh, for the critique, uh, I, I guess uh, this is you, DeAndre. Thanks a lot. I really do appreciate it, and uh, fantastic job with your team. Uh, keep plugging away, though. Uh, lots of work to do. Thank you again.